Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Okay, that was very cold. Let's try that one more time. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this service will be a little bit different. As you know, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all our mothers out there. We're going to be starting service today with praise and worship from our brothers, all brothers singing praise and worship. So we want to welcome our brothers now as we get into the mood of worship. Praise God. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I know I know today is Mother's Day, so I feel like the mothers, hallelujah, will probably be louder than the fathers since it's their special day. So I just want to test it out. All the fathers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, that was good. All the mothers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> See, there you go. So we're just going to spend a few minutes to uh, praise and worship the God that we serve you know today is a special day god has blessed us with uh, beautiful wonderful mothers and god has continuously given them strength given them the ability to not only take care of us but be god-fearing women so we just want to be in the mood of worship as we worship the god that has given us great and wonderful mothers so be in the mood of worship as we worship uh the great god we serve amen amen We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh you are Lord. Worthy, Lord. You are we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Sing it Lord. one more time. We give you glory, Lord, as we are glory, you. Lord. We give you glory, as Lord, you. as we are. Wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord. Jesus, you are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy. Of our praise, you are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy of you our praise. Oh, you are worthy of you our praise. You are worthy of our praise, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of our praise. Sing it with all your heart, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy. Of a praise for the last time, Jesus, you are worthy of a praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of a praise. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. We are so glad to be here in the house of the Lord today on Mother's Day. So we're just going to spend a few minutes and praise and, you know, sing praises to God. And you know, if you want to clap, you want to clap, go ahead and clap. If you want to dance, go ahead and dance. All the mothers out there, today is your day. So feel free to be in this God's presence and praise the Lord with us. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Lord, hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory to the Lord, hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord, hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord, hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord, hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord, hallelujah. Lift him high, lift him high, lift him high, lift him high. He is worthy of Lift him high, lift him high, lift him high. Lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift him high, lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift him high. Lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift him high, lift Jesus high, oh lift him high. He is worthy of praise. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow. At the mention of your name, every tongue confess. At the mention of your name, at the mention of your name, every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. At the mention of your name, every tongue confess. of your name every knee must bow at the mention of your name every tongue confess you are Lord you are Lord you are Lord of Lords you are King you are King you are King of Kings at the mention Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Oh, Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final 
final say. And who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Oh, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Oh, Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Amen. Amen. All right, we just wanna wanna go into the mood of worship right now. You know, we serve a living God and. You know, all the mothers out there, you know, I know how hard you work. I know how hard you do the things you do. And if you look into your life, all the blessings you have, all the things that you receive, you know, there's only one person that could have given those things to you, whether it's children, job, uh, you know, financial stability, whatever good thing you have, you know, it's only God that could have given it to you. No uncle, no brother, no husband could have given it to you except, except God himself. So. We just want to lift his name high. There's no amount of money we can give God. There's no amount of praise that we can give God that could satisfy him or even pay him back for everything he's done. But the one thing we can do is worship him and lift his name high. So we're going to do that right now. So please join us as we lift the name of Jesus high. Amen. We lift your name higher. 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 Sing it with us. We lift your name higher. Oh, we lift your name higher. wherever you are and just say thank you shout hallelujah for what he's done in your life and what he continues to do just give him all the praise give him all the honor
As we said today, Sunday service is going to be a little bit different. Praise God for that wonderful ministration. I pray that we were all blessed. Before we move on to our next one, let's open our Bibles. If you have your Bible there with me, with you, uh, please let's open our Bibles. Proverbs chapter 31, one of my favorite verses. I'd like to decree this over my friends and the woman in my life. Proverbs 31, we're going to do that really quick. We'll read it together. When you're there, give me a virtuous and righteous and holy amen. amen. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Let's scroll down to verse 25 through 30. We'll read that together on the count of two. One, two. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Verse 29, many daughters, many women have done virtuously, but thou excellest above them all. Verse 30, finally, let me hear you say this loud and clearly. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Amen. Let's have our seat as we welcome a special presentation from our children, youth, and young adults. Let's have our seat as we welcome them. Children, youth, and young adults. Let's clap as they come on stage. This is our children, our youth, our young adults, the future of this church, here to give a special presentation to our mothers. upon you and be gracious to you the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace the Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you be gracious to you the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace
thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weakness and rejoicing he is for you 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 and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you 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 brethren you know me too well somebody say amen. amen praise god we thank god for that wonderful ministration by our children youth and young adults these lyrics are taken straight from the bible may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children and we pray that over each and every family in this church and in this uh this church here in philadelphia and in deeper life as a whole amen all right, so now we have another special presentation by the children. They have a video to present us, so that will be played by the media team. Mother's Day. Happy 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 Mother's Day to all the mothers. To all our biological mothers and expecting mothers who are waiting for their children, as well as our mothers in the Lord, as well as mothers of our parents. To the other mothers that are out there. Thank you. 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 For everything that you do. For the food. For stepping in and helping with the kids for all you've done in the church for being a constant companion in my life be supportive and caring for the love for giving me the best things in life your love your care and your cooking for your prayers on our behalf and the support you've given us throughout those times for the care she shed to save me for your protection for how you lived us how you've been leading us in the way of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 says 
For who can find a righteous woman? For her price is above rubies. Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the parent has for they shall see God. Strength and honor are her clothing. Hebrews for the peace with all man and holiness, but thou was no man to see the Lord. He will make a way to the sun. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. I pray. The blessed. Bless you. In an unforgettable way. I will richly reward you all. That God will be always at your side. That you will be given more years and more blessings in Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We love every single one of you. We love you all. We love you, Mommy. I cherish you with my whole heart. Mom, you're the best. Thanks for everything. Happy, Happy Mother's Day. Day. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Oh my, my, my. Oh my, my, my. I almost cried watching that. All right, so let's all rise. Let's all rise. Let's all rise. I found this short acronym for a mom. So I want you to turn to a mom near you. Turn to a mom near you, maybe to your right, to your left. Turn to a mom near you. There are many women in this church. I'm sure you can find one. A mom near you. And say, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. This acronym goes, Our Moms. Mother. If we spell that word, we see mother. <laughs> wow. Don't you feel the love? We're in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right, let's settle down because of time. I know. Don't worry, after service, there'll be lots of time to talk and commune with our mothers. <laughs> all right. I found this short acronym online. It says mothers, if you spell that word, mothers, M stands for magnificent. O stands for outstanding. T stands for tender. You know that tender love and care that you often get with a mom. H stands for honorable. E stands for extraordinary. I don't know about you, but when I see the mom, some of them in school, four, three, two kids, then they're now here in church and leaders extraordinary strength from above and R stands for remarkable so let's just rise and take a moment to quickly pray for our mothers let's rise and take a moment to quickly pray for our mothers we want to appreciate all that they've done for us whether your mother thank God for the grace of God upon your life let me hear you pray God we want to just take this time oh God to thank you for giving me a mother giving you a mother and if you're a mom out there thank God for the magnificent outstanding tender honorable extraordinary remarkable characteristics that he's given you it's not easy to be a mother. Just one kid and people say, I'm done. Now our moms, some of them have two, three, four, five, six, seven children. It's not easy. I don't even know. I'm still thinking to myself, how am I going to do it? How did my mom do it with five children? I don't know. But we want to thank God for the grace in our mother's lives to make it this far. They're here in church. They're godly women. We read Proverbs chapter 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? Our children even reiterated it in their video. Who can find a virtuous woman? We want to thank God for our moms. It's not easy. A lot of moms, they treat their children anyhow. But in this church, in this church, we can see how the mothers care for their children. And we see how the mothers go afar to bring their children to church. They spend time uh, training their child up in the way of the Lord. Training their child up in the way of the Lord. Training their child up in the way of the Lord. Many daughters have done virtuously, but we in this church, the women in this church, I can attest that they have excelled them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, which is the woman that we see in this church, they shall be praised. Yes. Yes, we want to thank you, God. And if you are a young adult, a youth, a child here, you can go ahead and just begin to appreciate God for the mother in your life. Some people, their mom died when they were so young. And we empathize 
lives with that, but you, you might still have your mom here. We want to thank you for keeping your mom here for you. I know how grateful I am. I know how grateful you I am. Yes, Lord, we just want to appreciate you. And we want to pray for more grace, more anointing, more strength to keep going in the way of the Lord and to raise up their homes. You learned to search the scripture that it's important to keep their spiritual life and they will raise up godly homes in the mighty name of Jesus. And in that same vein, we want to just thank Heavenly Father for our mothers. And if you have an offering here to present to uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you can go ahead and begin to get that out now. If you have offering to present to the Lord, let's just go ahead and begin to get that out now. And raise that before the King of Kings. We know that his presence is mightily felt here. Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to thank you for a wonderful Sunday service like this. We want to thank you for bringing beautiful, hardworking, extraordinary, outstanding, tender, honorable woman in our lives, Lord. We know that we can't take that for granted as many children are out here without moms. And we have beautiful moms here to guide us, to teach us, Lord. We say, be thou exalted. We want to pray that you continue to give them that grace and that strength to continue to do more for you. Draw them nearer to you as you, as you draw closer to them in the name of Jesus. We pray that they will be the, shep the shepherd over their home, that the children that you've given them, oh God, you will raise them up personally in the way of the Lord, that no child will go astray in this church in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. More strength, more grace, more anointing. It is not easy to be a mom of just one, not to talk of two, three, four, five. God, more grace to keep going in your way, to raise up that home that you have destined them to raise in Jesus' name. We want to pray for our offering now, Heavenly Father, God, anyone that has brought anything lord i pray that you bless their pockets and multiply it as they're giving oh god that you give multiple folds back to them in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen so our, our ushers will come around to um, collect our offering one more time happy mother's day can i hear you say that one more time it's not too many times happy mother's day Happy Mother's Day. And so once you give your offering, you may have your seat. You just want to take a moment to uh, make some announcements. So um, as we know, this is we're getting into summer. We have lots of programs lined up. The first starting at the Young Adult Retreat. The young Adults, can I hear you say woo? Yes, yes, yes. This, the program is a very wonderful program. And this is actually going to be the 10th anniversary. So we're very excited of what God is going to do this year in the Young Adult Retreat themed Bill 2022. Uh, that'll be May 26th to May 29th. Uh, in South Carolina. Then the youth also have a wonderful program uh, that's going to be happening June 23rd to 26th. And finally, we have the convention. This is for everybody, adults, children, youth, young adults. Everybody will be meeting. This year will be based in Washington, D.C. from July 28th to 31. Finally, um, we know that the building project is coming, is uh, currently ongoing, and so we will send out a text to all of our brethren about when we're going to actually go and see the new building, so please be expectant about that. It'll be sent out sometime throughout the week. Tentatively, the date is uh, this Friday at 4 p.m., so please be on the lookout. We saw some of the pictures uh, a couple services ago, so I, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited about that. And so in that same vein, if you pledge money um, in, the in the past couple of weeks, please, we want to start seeing that money come in because we're... We're getting ready to close, and after that, uh, we really need to see that money start coming in. So if you know the Lord has blessed you, and you want to give back to this church, and you want to give back to the renovation of this building, not even renovation, excuse me, God has given us a new building to completely leave this place. So not, uh, amen. You know, that was the original plan to renovate this building, but God said, I can do better, and he led our pastors to find a new building. And so if you pledge something, go ahead and um, start seeing how you can fulfill that pledge. And if you didn't pledge anything yet, it's not too late, and it will never be too late to sow into the kingdom of heaven. And as you give, he will give back to you in Jesus' name. And then finally, um, the leaders will be having a program. This will be for the workers and the leaders it's in October. Um, it's going to be titled In Focus. So just keep that in mind as we get closer through the summer and towards October. Um, so once again, happy, happy Mother's Day. We're just going to introduce the choir. As praise and worship was all men, our choir today will be all the men. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. God is doing something. You can see how the Lord is using the children, youth, young adults, even the men. Who knew the men could sing like this? Maybe we need to give them more solos in this church. So uh, we want to just introduce the choir. So if you know you're a part of the choir. Oh. 
Okay, so just a quick correction. So for the building, we're going to present our offer tomorrow. So join us in prayers as we go to present that offer. It's the perfect will of God that we'll get that. And then um, we will be able to um, make that closing afterwards. Um, we have to also take our Bible reading. Um, excuse me, I forgot about that. So our Bible reading today will be taken from 2 Timothy chapter 3. 1 Timothy, excuse me, chapter 3. 1 Timothy chapter 3. I like response when, I, when I'm on stage and speaking in front of people. So when you're there, you can shout amen for me. Amen. Wow. Bible scholars in the house. 1 Timothy chapter 3. Chapter 3. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce-breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers' lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jannes and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured! But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. May God bless the reading of his word. Um, again, we're going to call up the choir, the all-mill choir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People with us there to all our mothers in the house. 
pray that the Lord will uh, keep you and you will see more and more years of this uh, Mother's Day in this land of your living in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have uh, the token of our song for you, all our mothers and we know that the Lord will inspire you all through the song in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And won't get willingly with her hands. She's like the merchant's ships. She brings out her food from far. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household. And the portion to her maiden, she considereth the field and buyeth buy it, it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a fire. She gathered her loins with strength and strengthened her hands. Perceive that a merchandise is good and can quest not out by night. She laid her hands onto the spindle and her hands hold the distance. She stretched out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Self coverings of the mystery. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates where he seated among the elders of the land. She's making fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strengthen and honor are the clothing, and she shall rejoice in this time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom. In her tongue is the law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of the idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also embraces her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou, our women, thou excellent them all. Never is deceitful, and beauty is faint. But a woman, like our mothers in the house today, that fearing the Lord, she shall be praised over and over. Mm-hmm. I stood 
stood on the bank of a wide ranging river trusting that I'd get across I made my way through some valley and desert believing I'd never get lost I've been at the foot of what felt like Mount Everest Knowing I'd trap the strength to climb Cause through every trial is tempt and temptation One thing is sure every time Over and over Again and again God is faithful To stand and survive, to come true a life when it sure looks like you couldn't win. Jesus is with you, so you claim the victory over and over again. I if you ask me. Why have no hesitation? God does what he says he will do. I simply say every battle has taught me there's nothing he won't help me through. So why should I dwell on the hardships and struggle? When I look just beyond man, I see The way this will end is with great celebration Deep in my heart I believe Over and over, again and again, God is faithful Again and again through it all He's made me able To stand and survive To come through a life When it sure looks like I couldn't win Jesus is with me So I claim the victory over and over again Over and over Again and again God is faithful Over and over Again and again Through it all He's made you Come true a life when it sure looks like you couldn't win. Jesus is with you, so you claim the victory over and over again. To stand and survive, 
to come through a lot when it sure looks like you couldn't win. Jesus is with you, so you claim the victory over and over. is with you so you claim the victory over and over over and over and over and over again in Jesus name amen as you said 